Hey everybody, this is Mitch. Uh, I wanted to take a quick minute to uh, show you where to get the tools that we developers use for uh, doing dynamics development. So, used to be many years ago, we had a download um, from downloads.microsoft.com that had all of the tools and sample code and stuff like that in it. Well, they moved everything up to NuGet, which is um, a repository for code components. Now that seems kind of odd to have your tools in the in the code component library or repository, but that's that's just the way it worked out. So uh, to find these tools, do a search for uh, download tools from NuGet, uh, probably Dynamics download tools from NuGet, and it'll take you to this page. I'll put this in the in the description of the, the video. So um, the way that you can do there's two ways to do it: the easy way and the manual way. So the easy way is to use this PowerShell script. Now you don't have to know a lot about it, uh, to be quite honest, to, to run this. Um, all you do is you click the copy button here and then you jump over to a tool called Windows PowerShell ISE. So this is basically an edit editor for um, PowerShell. This should be, if you're running Windows 10, um, or even some of the earlier versions, this should be on your machine as we speak. Okay, so you don't have to go hunt it down, but you might have to or turn it on. So I'm going to paste my code inside of that and then the first thing I'm going to do you'll see a command prompt down there this is a real command prompt and as you see it is in user slash Mitch well I and this is going to be where it's going to create the um, the tools directory that's downloading so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change to my utilities folder There we go. Okay, now I'm in utilities, and I'm going to go up on the uh, the toolbar here and click this green run script button or hit F5, and it's going to run the script. And so what it's doing is it's actually uh, running the script, which is going to download and unpack the tools that were listed there. And while it's doing, I am going to open up a browser. If I go see if it's run, okay, still working. I'll go back to the web page for just a second and show you what it's doing. So um, we have a handful of tools. We have the code generator, we have the data migration utility, the package deployer, and the plugin registration tool, and the solution packager. So if you're doing .NET development, you're going to need these at some point in time. Um, and so it's just uh, all it is is downloading and, and, and uh, unpacking. So there we go. Okay, so now if I go to my utilities folder, I will see a tools folder within that. And here is each of the tools that we had over here. Okay, now there's a, another way to do this. It's manual and it's kind of clunky, but if you don't want to run the PowerShell script or you have a uh, lockdown installation you can do it the hard way so I'm gonna click on this link and this will take me out to NuGet itself and there is a link on the right hand side that says download package there's also a command that uh, will allow you to do it uh, if you're inside of uh, Visual Studio so I'm gonna download this it's gonna download it's gonna be scanned by my antivirus make sure it's okay Okay, that's done. So I'm going to, this is Chrome, so I'm going to click on that and uh, the arrow and say show in folder. And then here it is at the top. So what I'm going to do is I am going to click on it and I'm going to change the name, uh, the extension, I'm sorry, from uh, NuGet package to zip because that's what it is. It's actually a zip file. It's going to give me a warning. Yes, that's fine. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to extract all and I'm going to say show extracted files so it's created a folder unpacking everything into that folder and then here's my folder and if I look at the tools folder here is my plugin registration tool in this case 